Welcome, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports for this NBA presentation. And in our matchup tonight, we'll see the Milwaukee Bucks going up against the Denver Nuggets. With Mike Fratello and Clark Kellogg, I'm Kevin Harlan. And we've got David Aldridge reporting in from the sidelines. We're still early in the season. Mike, how long does it take teams who've had off-season roster shakeups, a complete makeover, to settle things into place? You know, it all depends on chemistry. Some guys can easily drop into a new team, but for others, it could take a few months to find the rhythm. And you're bringing guys in, but you've got to know exactly how they're wired, too, don't you? Do they fit? Do they mesh with the rest of the guys we've got on the existing ones? Yeah, you have to figure out, does the guy you brought in care about whether he really fits in well? Does he care about the other players that he's out on the floor with? Or is he single-minded, tunnel vision, it's just all about me? Yeah, a lot of layers to consider for sure. And so the Milwaukee Bucks get the first points of the ballgame. Issel throwing it down with some authority, showing you some power right there. And the Bucks with possession here. Here's the dude against Washington. He was really on his game. Lanier. Issel grabs the board. And here's the break. Pulls up on the wing. Shots good by Vandewey. Excellent positioning by Vandewey in transition there. Setting himself up to finish the break. Here's the dude. English covering. Another shot. And it's good on the way in. Winning play there. Saw the opportunity to take a second crack at it. Dunn looking over the floor. 17-foot shot on the way. Again, the Nuggets score. Despite his height, Issel's got this 15, 18-footer shot in his toolbox, adding another dimension to his game. And that's out of bounds. Milwaukee will retain possession. Excellent anticipation there on the defensive end. Almost got the steal. Yeah, can't be loose with the ball around him. And here in the first, closing in on two minutes play. Lister, the pass to the dude. Fires the three. And another three for Milwaukee. A red-hot beginning to this game. Well, he's a real good offensive player. So they want to get him going early. English outside. Passes it to Vandaway. Milwaukee with the rebound. I'm sure he's upset right now. He had a space, had it all lined up, but just couldn't convert on the mid-range jumper. He saw his opportunity and went right into attack mode. He'll take those mid-range openings whenever they're presented. And to see him doing it at the start of the game is very encouraging for his team. Here's Vandaway after the basket by Milwaukee. Count it. The main thing Vandaway brings this team? Scoring. Put up numbers. And those two points help the cause. Lanier, the pass to the dude. Bucks passing it around. Johnson outside. Pass to Lister. Kicks it to Moncrief. Takes a three. The dude misses. Sometimes you do things right on offense, and the shots just don't fall. Top of the key, done. The pass to Issel. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. And Issel is really effective at getting guys in the air. Once he has the defender off the ground, everything else is elementary. First trip to the line for him here. And he knocks down the first one. Oh, 
both good from the line that time. Well, he's certainly been on target with the free throws. Such an advantage when your bigs can knock them down from the line. Goes up on the wing, and it's another Milwaukee shot right there going in. He has a particular set of skills, and they're very fun to watch. Has the shade. Dunn left side. From 18 feet away, the dude grabs the miss. The Bucks have gone 5 of 8 from the field, shooting over 62%. Lent it go with a 3. It's hauled in by the Nuggets. They're coming into this game off that recent loss to Atlanta. Simply a poor effort the last time out. The final score wasn't close. They didn't deserve to be in the game. What hustle on the offensive glass, finding ways to capitalize, paying off that hard work. Lanier, the pass to the dude. He kicks it to Moncrief. Pass to the dude. Here's one in. Shot clock at six. Johnson, the pass to Lister. Now on the scoring column with that bucket. One for two this game. When you feed Lanier the rock down low, good things happen. And so English will bring it up for Denver. Trailing by two. Last time they met was in Denver. And they were lights out from the floor in that one. Great shot selection and execution. You just keep waiting for them to cool off, but it never happened. Hard to beat a team shooting like they did. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Bringing the hustle. Vandaway sparking this squad. Moncrief the pass to the dude. Shays with the rebound. I don't think you can ask for a better look, just not the result they were looking for. Yeah, he's got to put that miss behind him and continue to fire away when he gets that kind of a look. Here's Vandaway. He's coming off a 34-point game against the Hawks in Atlanta. Done outside. Shot from free throw range, and the shot goes in. And you know, once again, the lead changes. It has been a tug of war all game long. And it's a shame one of these teams will lose tonight. Both have played their hearts out. And out of bounds as the Nuggets gain possession. The Nuggets have gone 7 of 11 for the field to begin the game. English outside. Issel gets the bucket. Issel's got eight. Savvy decision by English with the ball. Getting it to a guy who has a better chance of scoring. Here's Moncrief. Not wasting any time and taking the shot and knocking it down. Tell you what, both teams have got it going on. I mean, playing phenomenally well. Yeah, but I think it's going to be hard to keep this pace up. We'll see. Here's Shades. No scoring in this one. Here's Vanderwey. <laughs> Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. What intensity from Vanderwood. Battling through the foul to get his butt. And some stats here, guys. The scoring. Denver leading by five. Hubbard the pass to Robish. Here's Issel. Pass to Robish. Here's Dotson. He's coming off a 16-point game against the Hawks in Atlanta. Clock at four. Here's Hubbard. And it's off from three-point range. Here's Moncrief. The teardrop falls in. He's got six. Nimble play by Moncrief inside the paint. Managing to get past the contact and to a shot. Here's Issel. Good for the fifth time in five shots. He remains perfect. Excellent vision on display. Dropping a dime to set up his teammate. Bucks trail by five. And around a minute gone here in the second quarter. And there's the pass to Bridgman. Here's Lanier. Johnson outside. Pass to the dude. A 15-footer buries the jump shot. And you know, the ability to knock down the mid-range shot can be an equalizer against bigger defenders. Absolutely. 
draw them away from the rim where their size becomes a hindrance. And here are the Nuggets now, following the bucket by the Bucks. Here's Hubbard. He's averaging a bit over five points a game. Passes it to Issel. No good. That's the first shot for the floor. He's missed. Five for six. Down low. Pass to the dude. Let's it go from deep. And right on through for another basket. He's got five made on five of nine shooting. Couldn't help but see his man there. Bridgman with the dump off. Here's the pass to Dotson. Here's Robich. Right wing. With the fadeaway. Rebound, Milwaukee. Bridgman's got his fourth rebound in this one. No question, Mike, this offense has some firepower. And looking very confident in all that they're doing right now. Hey, this is a rinse and repeat, just like last game. He's had his fingerprints all over this one, looking totally dominant. He realizes his strengths on offense and does a fantastic job playing to them and finding ways to stay on. Here's Dotson, following the bucket by the Bucks Over Moncrief. Dotson gets the bucket. Dotson's got the game tied up here for Denver. That kind of defense isn't going to get it done, especially when it comes to a score of his caliber. Timeout called the Bucks. And we're now a little over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. He's feeling it. Rebound by the Nuggets. That game is the first and last of their homestead. Denard. Issel. The putback is no good. For Milwaukee, they've gotten four of their first five shots to fall in the second quarter. Outstanding shooting. Richmond shots good. I like watching Bridgman capitalize down inside, making the defense pay. Pass to Issel. It's hauled in by Lanier. Bucks have gone five of six so far from the field in the second quarter. Here's Bridgman. Beautiful dish, and the layup goes down. Bridgman's got four this quarter. Nimble play by Bridgman against the contact, and the defense fails to hold him back completely. Dunn passes to Issel. Over Lanier. Up again. Great positioning on the putback. Good anticipation by Issel. He just knows where to be to collect the offensive board. Passes it to Johnson. And we're certainly glad to be coming to you live, although we appreciate those great fans. Coach, you stay up to watch the games broadcast on tape delay. And as their numbers grow, I foresee a day when we'll be able to watch every NBA game live without buying a ticket. Oh, my gosh. I would love for that day to be sooner than later. So it's Denver now after the basket by Milwaukee. Pass to Vandewey. It's over Moncrief. Vandaway misses. And it's Milwaukee's ball. They're on a 15-6 run. Here's the dude. His three-pointer is off the mark. And got to be honest here. I mean, he should have made that. I bet it's not going to affect his confidence, though. He's going to keep taking those shots. The Bucs have gone 7-9 in their field goal attempts here in the second quarter. Pretty good offense. 
that bucket in in no time at all. Bridgman's got the lead back up to four now for Milwaukee. Nugget shooting with confidence, 50% from the field so far. Denver calls timeout. Nice game, great performance by the dude. I know what they're talking about in this huddle. Figuring out a way to slow him down. English, he's jugged in for Denver. To the inside and the cam by English. Boy, that was a nasty throwdown right there. This is exactly why you can't give English the position he wants. The Bucks have gone eight of ten from the field here in the second quarter. You've got to like how they've shot the ball. Here's the dude and another basket for Milwaukee. The Nuggets trail by four. Done outside. And the pass to English. Here's Vandaway. Pressley defending. Vandaway misses. Got the look he wanted. Sometimes it just doesn't go down. Johnson outside. Kicks to Pressley. Back to Johnson. And out of bounds as the Nuggets gain possession. And here is Dunn. His last outing, he had eight points. English looking around. Pass to Robich. Lock at six. From about 19 feet, English's shot is good. English has got six. It's tough to deny him those mid-range look. English is creative at getting to his spots and uses that high release point to convert. Here's Archibald. Scoreless thus far. Over to the left wing. Here's the dude. It's hauled in by Dunn. And here's Dunn. He'll bring it up for the Nuggets. Inside, Denard. And he hits it to tie the game up. Nice find by Vandewey. Really good decision there. Milwaukee has gone three of six tonight when they've let it fly from downtown. Here's the dude. And the Bucks miss again. Nuggets have gone seven of 16, shooting just under 50% here in the second quarter. Then for shooting their fourth and fifth attempts at the free throw line tonight. And that drops, so they now lead by one. The offensive intelligence of English is pretty exceptional. This guy knows how to work the defense and find himself openings to score. 107 left to play here in the second quarter. Shoots it. The dude misses. The Nuggets shooting 44% from the field in the second. Pass to Vandaway. Set it up with the fake, but it's offline. Milwaukee's gone one or two on three pointers here in the second quarter so far. Here's English. A rebound by Lister. The Bucks shooting an efficient 53% from the field. Johnson gets the bucket. Johnson's got it all tied up now for the Bucks. Johnson doing a nice job that time, leaking out in transition, making himself a prime target in these situations. Here's Shades. Eight points his last outing. No one near him. And he nails the jumper. 11 points in the game. 19 seconds left in the first half. Lobbed up there for Johnson. Hammers the alley-oop through. Look at the leaping ability of Johnson. Getting up there to finish off the alley-oop. Done outside. Here's Vandaway. 
And the last shot at the buzzer doesn't go in for him. Tie game in Milwaukee. And don't go away. After the break, we'll see you right back here for the start of the third quarter. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet. We're seeing a tremendous game from the dude. Tell you what, if he keeps knocking down threes like we saw him do in that first half, it's going to be a long night for the defense. And as long as he remains hot, they're going to keep going to him. Let's see if the defense tries to rush him off that line. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, the second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams try to gain an edge. Pass to English. The pass to Vandaway. Wants to get it to Dunn and does. The baseline J off the mark. Milwaukee's gone three of six tonight when they've let it fly from downtown. Here's the dude. Off target from three-point range. Denver shooting 49% on the game. They'll take that. Pass to Issel. Outside, English. Here's Issel. That's in. Coming off an assist from Dunn. Dunn's got three assists in the game. And about a minute of action so far in the third quarter. And that one's good, the dude. How about the amazing crossover there? Demonstrating exactly how dangerous he can be when he's got the rock in his hand. Passes it to Dunn. Here's Shades. Hasn't made one yet. Fires from the corner. Shots good by Vandewey. And the Nuggets lead by two. What confidence from the big man Vandewey. Just superb at realizing when to take these quick shots. Here's Lanier. Looking at his numbers, he's averaging about uh, six and a half points a game. Johnson, the pass to the dude. And another basket for Milwaukee. He is absolutely putting on a scoring clinic, guys. If it wasn't for him, they would not be in this game. And Denver decides to take their first time out here. Done. Wide open. He fires. And again, Denver no good. Bucks have gone two of three from the field to start the second half. Bridgman the pass to the dude for the lead. And again for three. Defensively, there was a lack of aggressiveness, and it really made it easy for him to knock that shot down. Done outside. Pass to Vandaway. Grief against English, and they pick up two, and that's ten points for Alex English. This is why the D must stay up on English. He's thinking of shooting as soon as he touches it. Now the pass to Moncrief. Here's the dude, done covering. Here he goes. Here's Bridgman. It falls for the sixth time in seven tries this contest. That's 86%. That is how you use the shot fake, folks. Done outside. They set the screen. Pass to Issel. The Nuggets moving the ball around. English against Moncrief. 
Here's Shades. At the done. Passes to Vandaway. To the middle. A second chance effort. He takes it up and lays it in. Issel's got four points now in the quarter. Consistency. Part of what you get from Dan Issel. Here's Bridgman. He's got 12. Here's the dude. And another basket for Milwaukee. Well, coming out of halftime, both of these teams have raised their intensity level. Yeah, the game's heating up, and the fans are going berserk. Now, here's Dunn. Pass to English. And the officials call him for three. a three-second three. violation. Here we are in November, and let's see how things are going out east in the early season. Look at Milwaukee. Third best record here in the early going. Timeout called the Bucks. Timeout, timeout. Time Nuggets trail by six. Here's Vandaway. Poke loose. Now the Bucks moving it up. Pushing it up. And stolen by Dunn. And the turnover again by Denver. Milwaukee leading by six. The pass to Moncrief. Pass to Johnson. Back to Moncrief. Just five on the clock. Passes it to the dude. Shoots it up. Offensive rebound. And finished off by Lister. Leaving no margin for error. That was a terrific finish. Clark, this is what happens when you refuse to box him out. Yep. You have great positioning and even better timing. Superb work on the offensive glass. Here's Vandaway following the bucket by the Bucks. Basket counts. Vandaway's got 19 points. Good and deceptive quickness for a forward. Vandaway pops in the mid-ranger here. The dude passes to Mont. Here's Preston. Pass to the dude. From the arc. Connects again from distance. A total defensive collapse. I mean, no reason to allow him that kind of space from behind the arc. Here's Vandaway. Presley defending. Vandaway misses. Milwaukee leading by nine. Here's the pass to the dude. Let's the free fly. Rebounded by Robish. Robish has got his fifth rebound in this one. We're about two minutes into the fourth quarter in this one. Here's Vandaway. Covered by Johnson. Here's Robish. Buries it down low. The basis of our game is the pass. Sharing. Being a great teammate. Here's Preston. Pass to the dude. Let's it go from the wing. And it's good off the glass. The dude's got the lead up to nine now for Milwaukee. Paul Preston, really the original point forward, if you will. Such a great passer from the forward position. Passes it to Hubbard. Pass to Robish. He kicks it to Dunn. Shoots over Moncrief. Dunn misses. Milwaukee has gone one and two from three-point range here in the fourth. 
They get a hand on it. Moncrief, the best of the do. Off target there. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. Down against Moncrief. Here's Hubbard. The rebound by the Bucks. Moncrief's got four rebounds now tonight. Denver grabs the miss. And usually, you can count on him to convert there. The D did just enough to throw him off. Milwaukee leading by nine. And the Nuggets pushing it up now. Here's Vandaway. And there it is for him. Vandaway's got 10 points here in the second half. This is Kiki Vandeweghe at his best in the zone, drumming up points for his team like only he can. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. Denver making a switch here. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. What's the latest, David? Hey, guys, I listened in on what Don Nelson was discussing with his players. He told them, don't look at the scoreboard. We have to play like we're tied. They want their team to sustain that level of effort, and we'll see how it works out. Kevin? Thanks, David. The Bucs have gone 3 of 7 from the floor in the fourth. That's a 42% mark in the quarter. Got a piece of it. Pure defensive awareness, Missile. He reads the shot, knows it's coming, and gets a hand on it. Done. And done with the slam. And hopefully that slam right there will light a fire up under him. Oh, I see that. It's the kind of spark they so desperately need now. I think that's why he didn't settle for the layup. Wanting to get his guys going with that take. The Nuggets trail by seven. Outside, English. Dunn up top. Here's Hissel, defended by Lister. The pass to Vandaway. Six on the shot clock. Here's Dunn. Pulled the shot a little left, but the bounce goes his way. Kiki Vandaway. Milwaukee leading by five. Pass to Lanier. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Some physical play from the 6'11 Lanier, creating contact and getting the whistle. First free throw is good. Two shots. And good on the second, so he makes them both. And so here's Denver. Done with it. The rebound by Lister. Lister's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Here's the dude, shot from the wing, and he hits the jump shot. The dude's got 35 in the game. He's ready, willing, and able to carry the load offensively. Now done. That one a tad offline to the right, but drops in for him. Dunn's got six points in the quarter. Bucks have gone 5 of 10, 50% from the field. Lanier, the pass to the dude. Baseline J on the way. Rebound by the Nuggets. And here's the pass break. Dunn leading the way. Passes it to Vandaway. The rebound by Johnson. Might want to slow it down, Mike, here just a little bit. Take your time. Get a good one. Moncrief can do it all. His game is without a hold. And here's Don. He'll bring it up for Denver. Nine-point game. Time call here. The Nuggets decide to talk it over. You know, he recognized his players were fatigued and needed to catch their breath. Those guys were cooked out there.
the inbound. No good. Bucks leading by nine. 149 left in the fourth quarter. Pass to Lanier. The Bucks working the ball around. Six to shoot. Here's the dude. Money from the wing. The dude's got the lead up to 11 now for Milwaukee. Looking to stretch this lead out even further, going right after his shot. And the defense continues to not be up to the challenge. And there's a whistle. There's a foul. That's going to go on the dude. That's his first foul. First team foul. Here's done. He's guarded close on the best of Andoway. Five on the clock. They set the pick. Let's go. And Lanier is a solid defender. A guy who really gets after it and gets after the opposition as well. You know, I think when you give up second chance points, a lot of it comes down to simply a lack of effort. Yeah, it's simple. A key part of playing good defense is limiting the offense to one shot. And that starts with boxing out. And out of bounds as the Nuggets gain possession. Here's done. Here's Shays. A rebound by Lister. Oh, Clark, they've just about closed the door on this one. All they've got to do now is squeeze the orange and milk that clock. Here's the dude. Johnson outside. Just five to shoot. The Bucks need to get a shot off here. The dude misses. Here's the Nuggets now with the ball. And English kicks to Dunn. Back to English. Here's Vandaway. And a miss there on the triple. And so the Bucks take the win. Boy, this was an exciting game for sure. Made extra special, Mike, by all the noise from this home crowd. It was it was deafening inside. Well, they knew this squad was feeding off of them, so they did all they could to push them out there. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. Clark Kellogg, Mike Vergello, and David Aldridge, and the rest of our 2K team, this is Kevin Harlan signing off. We'll see you later.